but it was, it was nothing. Yeah. Did anybody ever say to you anything about, hey, you know, here in Russia we have some stuff that might help you? Absolutely. Not, no, not, not in that sense, no. You know, I've, I've certainly been in uh, a number of meetings with him. And if you look at the definition of meeting in Russian and in a Russian context, that grammar, you were using the Russian definition of meetings. Did you meet Sergei Kislak in Cleveland? Did you talk to him? I, I'm not going to deny that I talked with him. It was, I actually had, uh, it was a, a meeting that, or a dinner that was set up uh, sort of at the last minute. Um, and I ended up, you know, now that we're starting to learn the truth, it couldn't get any better for me. He flies to Moscow more often than I do. One Russian spy told another about Paige. When you went to Russia last summer, did you ever talk to any Russian about the Trump campaign or about the Clinton campaign or about the 2016 election in general? No Russian official. I was speaking at a university. During both of his trips to Russia, Page met Arkady Dvorkovich, who is the deputy to Russia's prime minister. And when you got back from your trip to Russia, which was just academic in nature, you say, what did you tell people on the Trump team about your trip? I just mentioned that there was, in general, from people on the street and the things you would hear in the, in the media, enthusiasm for the possibility of a little bit of a warming in U.S.-Russia relations. And so... But the House Intelligence Committee unearthed an email that Page sent to the campaign after the trip where he described a private conversation with Dvorkovich, where he expressed strong support for Trump. Were you in email chains with him about Russia? It may have come up from time to time. Again, you know, there's nothing, nothing major, yeah. Well, I mean, nothing major. It was enough for him to lie to federal investigators about and then plead guilty to.